Hello guys, I'm here with my monthly favorites uh, for May, obviously, is what it says in the description. But, um, sorry that my room's a mess. I'm still in the middle of cleaning and listing things on eBay and Craigslist and all that. So, um, just bear with me. It should get better. I might even switch to a different room to film in from now on. I don't know. But anyways, back to my monthly freebies. This thing is my favorite, like, my top favorite. That's what I'm going to start out with it. I love it. I don't care for this person um, that much as a person, but her perfumes are always on spot, and I love them to death. But it's Nicki Minaj's perfume. Um, it's not the newest one, because she has like three now, I think. Um, I did the Pink Friday one. I used to love this, but this is my top favorite that she has. Even I love it even more than the one that just came out. Um, trying to see what it's called. I don't really know. There's no name on it. But I've had this for two months, and this is the larger bottle, and I only have that much left. If you kind of see, it's like as much as my fingertip right there. It's like it's enough that's in her shoulder, and um, I just love it. Like, I never went through a perfume that's like this big in two months, and I love it, and I would recommend it for anyone to buy, even if you don't like her, her perfume. Is my favorite out of all like celebrities and stuff, so I like personally really recommend this one. Um, next thing is I completely love this. This was in my Walmart uh, beauty box, a sample size of this. Um, probably about I got it like last month or month before. I don't know somewhere in there. I think this was the spring um, Walmart beauty box, but. Um, I got like the little size, but I went to go buy this because I was addicted to, to it right when I tried the little sample. Um, but this is Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream, and um, this is for medium tone skin. I love it. I noticed a difference within like two days of using it, and it does come out as that color. Hope you can see it. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. And if you see, like, hear extra uh, background noises, it's because it's in the middle of a severe thunderstorm right now. So I'm so sorry, and I hope you can hear me okay. I'm a little bit yelling just so you can hear me over the rain. So I hope I'm not, like, yelling too loud. I never can guess because I'm not using my camera yet. Um, but... Yeah, it's great. It like literally like changes a little bit of like your skin and um, the tone in it and it just like flows and covers up blemishes after a while and it's supposed to hydrate and smooth your skin, brightens and illuminates uh, even skin tone, visibly firm skin and minimizes the appearance of um, imperfections. And this is like the best product I have ever used for my face. I just use it on my face um, and a little bit on my neck. Um, and it does a job within two days. You'll notice a difference. So I definitely uh, recommend this. I got this from Walmart. Um, I don't think it was more than $5. Probably like 3 maybe somewhere in there. But I'd recommend it. Next, this is the first tone I've ever tried in my life. I'm just starting to get back into makeup, like I said in my weight loss video. But it's my first toner I have ever tried um, by L'Oreal. You can see it. I love this. It doesn't burn your face. And it makes my face feel instantly refre refreshed. And um, it's just really good. I love it as a toner. And it seems to do the job. But I'm still testing out toners. So if there's like a top brand that you know that's not that much money but is great to use, let me know because I'm looking to try different toners, but right now this is my favorite. <laughs> now this is my all-time favorite deodorant I've ever had. Um, I only use gel deodorants. This is my number one brand, is Secret. I love it, but this must have been like, this was their new scent, and I bought like seven of these, and I'm already out. I use deodorant way too much. Like I put it on during the day, but this, like, I can smell it all day. And I love it because it is Coconut Splash. And stores keep running out of this every time I try to go and buy more. And it is my favorite. It's so summery. I probably bought it, the first time I saw this on the shelf was probably at the beginning of April. And I bought it and I'm addicted and I can't stop buying it. 
these came almost out. I'll be doing an empties video soon, a deeper review about the products. But if you love coconuts and um, you love gel, this is like perfect. And this deodorant always works. I never have a problem. I just reapply because I'm so like cautious about things and self-conscious about um, how I feel and smell and things like that. But really, you won't even need to put this on for a second time. Um, and they even have the coconut splash in the regular roll-on deodorant. So not just in the gel. The other thing I really love, I don't do this often. Um, I don't tan. I don't go to tanning beds or anything. Um, I just lay out in the summer. And it hasn't been really warm here to do that yet. I had sunburn, but it went away. My skin just doesn't tan as well. Um, but it's called Build a Tan by Neutrogena, and I just bought this probably about a, two weeks ago. I've already seen a difference in my skin. The lighting is poor in here, so I actually look lighter than I am. But, um, I noticed, like, right away the next day, and when I showered off, not a lot comes off down the drain, which is a good thing, so most of it stays on your skin. It's not... It doesn't hurt like your sensitive skin. I always get like breakouts or red rashes and really itchy if I'm because I'm so sensitive to products and this does not bother me. And I'm already seeing results. So I really like it. The next thing I like is Burt's Bees. My best friend got me this. Um, it's their um, body lotion. I don't know if it really has a smell. Not that I know of that doesn't have a smell, but it just makes my hands feel so much more moist and um, really softens them and it lasts for hours. The next thing I love is this. Every girl has this problem. Um, well, mostly every girl, not every single one, but um, this was like the best product. I saw this coupon in one of the magazines I get for free in the mail. And I was like, okay, let me give this a try. I never used chafing um, powders or gels. But um, after I gained all that weight, I have had chafing problems. I'm not having as bad as I used to. But um, this is from Monostat. And it's chafing relief uh, powder gel. It is so soft on your skin. It doesn't have any reactions with sensitive skin and it really does work and it doesn't wear off. I can put this on in the morning and it will literally stay to me until like midnight the, during the day so well night um but it really does work and um it's great for like your inner thighs and that's where I use it because sometimes I have a problem when I'm working out and it just really works. The next product I'm having a thing for lavender this year and um I don't know why like ever since I started getting hooked on lavender stuff it makes you feel so relaxed and I have six of these <laughs> but I'm all into the natural oils um from doTERRA I'm a me have a membership with them this is the lavender oil and it literally helps my panic attack so well my anxiety it just helps me feel peaceful and I sleep when I rub it on my body or diffuse it in my room and this is my favorite um, oil from doTERRA. Um, I will link the below doTERRA's website. I totally recommend doing um, these oils. They help you with so many different things. And I wish you guys could smell this because I totally would share this. Um, also, the next thing is I'm not all into like taking medications and trying new things and doing pills and Vitamins, I sometimes do. I have a lot of vitamins, but I don't always take them. But this seems to work the best for me, and I love this product, and I take it as much as I can. But it's hair, skin, and nails gummies. I got these from Walmart. They weren't expensive, and they really work. My hair grows faster, my nails grow faster, because my nails never want to grow. Oops. But, um... This is really, really good, and there's always coupons in the mail for them um, if you sign up to get coupons, and I would recommend using it to get this if you have a hard time growing your hair or your nails, because I noticed within, like, dedicated taking two, I think you may be able to take three, but I take two a day, and um, 
after two weeks of taking it every day, I noticed that my nails were getting long, and they were actually staying long, and they weren't, um, like, so weak and breakable. Like, it was just long-lasting, and it helped strengthen them, which I really liked. Next product, um, which I'm going to talk about is, um, Lush products. Okay, I love Lush. I really do. I love how they're all natural and against animal fighting, and I think that's awesome. I love supporting them and buying stuff. I just think that for their stuff, they are on, um, the expensive side, um, for, like, every day, have to go there, like, every month or every week, and people can do these massive hauls of Lush, and to me, it's really expensive, um, especially because I have anxiety when I spend too much money, so, um, it never helps me, and I can never, like, even if I buy three things, I'm already over $20 there, so it's a little hard for me to shop there, but I love them so much, um, but I have two products that I love, and I try not to buy too much stuff, or I try to make it last, and it's just ridiculous, the price for things, in my opinion, but I will never give up on the things that I love, and that's why they're in, um, my monthly favorites. I'm going to try to get a sample of this, but this is a Rub Rub Shower Scrub. My best friend actually bought, gave this to me because she was moving and it was like half, like a little bit down, but I've used it all. And it hasn't even been a month yet and it's almost gone. It's ridiculous. I have that much left. And it was like almost to the top when she gave it to me. But I don't care for the smell as much. I don't even know how to describe the smell. Oh, it says fresh orange blossoms. I don't get how it's blue and smells like oranges, but... I don't know. But I'm going to take it out so you can see it closer. I don't want it to fall. But that's what it looks like. It's the scrub. It's really good. It makes my skin feel softer. I love it. I don't know how much this was. I have the ocean salt one, and that's like, I swear by that stuff. That's my favorite. And, um... It's really good products. They help, like, get all the dead skin cells off and sense it up on your skin. And I really like that. Then also from Lush, they had this, I think I bought it, like, two weeks ago. Um, it's a bath bomb. Um, this is my favorite. I hope there's no better. Okay. Um, this is my favorite. This is the problem, though, I have with the Lush a little bit is, um... I can never put one of these full things in a bath. So many people do. I think this one cost me 10 bucks, And I think that's a little ridiculous for a bath bomb. And um, I can't use the full thing. I have actually used the full round ones from Lush and put them in the bath. And then my body feels too soapy and I cannot stand that feeling. So I always have to break them in half. And actually this I could break up either into fourths or in thirds. Um... Not, I can't even do a half of this because it's so much. So I see how it lasts that way, but some people just dip it in and dip it back out. Um, people do it all different ways. But this smells amazing, and I wonder what it's going to look like in my bathtub. I might do a video on it. But it was super expensive. Ten dollars for a bath bomb, in my opinion, is kind of ridiculous because I have looked at the ingredients of what goes into Lush products, and people can argue with me about this, but it does not add up to always ten dollars. I know they need to like make money from it um, for the people who make them, but it seriously does not need to be ten dollars. Um, so, I'm going to actually talk about these, and they're actually my monthly favorites. They actually came out pretty good, but um, lately I've been making my own bath bombs, um, buying all the ingredients. I bought all the molds for them, and I actually sold them for I. another reason I was gone and not on YouTube was for two months, I was actually fundraising for a charity I completely support, and you can kind of see the bag over there, and it's called Walk for Life. It's a non-profit organization, and I support it with all my heart for the last three years, and I always do fundraising. And this year, I said I was going to do bath bombs. It 
it ended two weeks ago and um, I sold I think I sold over 50 bath bombs to people in my area and um, some of my friends beauty shops sold them for me and all the proceeds went to my charity and I raised over a thousand and 700 I think um, dollars I raised and I think um, over 300 already came from the bath bombs and none of it goes to me it all goes to the charity I raised for but um, these are almost the same um, ingredients from uh, Lush but I added some and I took out some of what they use um, Basically everything is natural, even the food coloring I use is natural, and it won't harm your skin, it's not toxic to you, I don't know if Lush is the same way, but um, I made them, and each of them have real essential oils in them, and they were all different colors, maybe I'll post a, a picture at the end of this video about all of them that I made, but I wrapped them all up and put all the ingredients on the front, I think I'm going to do a DIY of me making a bath bomb, a couple of them, just so you guys can know how to make your own because I sold mine each for $4, um, some were even 3 I even did halves for $1.50 and that's literally how much when you put all the ingredients together and divide it up um, would cost um, for each um, bath bomb and they're pretty big, they're the same exact size as that Lush. I wish I would have not have used the bath bomb from them yesterday but I did um but yeah so I'm going to teach you all how to make these soon in an upcoming video uh thumbs up or comment if you'd like to see that um but yeah this is my favorite I love them because I can literally make from all the ingredients I can make over 20 bath bombs for myself for very cheap and that's so much more than you can get from buying all of them from Lush Anyways, enough with that. Oh, I almost broke my favorite candle. That would have been horrible. Um, my favorite candle, again, with the whole lavender thing. I'm obsessed. I've never burned this candle till probably about the middle of April, towards the end. My boyfriend was coming over a lot. And I always like having a candle lit. And um, I collect candles. I will do a video on all my candle collections soon. Because I have a huge, I have a whole drawer. Um, this drawer right here is kind of open. That whole drawer of my dresser is filled with candles, not even including what's on top of the dresser. <laughs> I have probably over 25 candles. It's ridiculous. I just love them so much. I actually have one burning right now, which is another one of my favorites, but I think it's all running out. Um, but I love candles. And my favorite one this month, which I have to go buy back and buy a larger one, probably like I'll probably buy like four because... <laughs> This is the one I could live off of. If I could give all my other candles away and just have this one, I would love to do that. Um, but it's called Lavender. Oh, I almost dropped it again. This is the Lavender one. And um, I love it so much. It smells like a lavender uh, bush is in my room. And I just love it how it smells. You can smell out into the hallway. And I just love it so much. And I've used that much already. I try not to burn it as much as I burn all my other candles. But I love it. Um, as some of you know, I do suffer from anxiety really bad. And if I'm put on like certain um, medications, it can make it worse. And I get panic attacks a lot. Some months are worse than others. <laughs> um, like uh, also in um, April, I think I had... Uh, two panic attacks like there was this week I was just really anxiety some things came up and had me so worried about where I had um, for a five day straight I had panic attacks and some had two in one day and I was just trying to figure out like different things to take my anxiety away that's where the lavender that I showed you came in and really helped me and I even got a diffuser for my car <laughs> it goes in a car a cigarette whatever holder and so um it just diffused it throughout my whole car I have a diffuser in my room and my kitchen and I have the candle of lavender and that's why I have so many lavender stuff and just seems to really calm me and I can't even drink tea anymore because it just makes my anxiety feel worse and so does I've already cut out of my diet but I found this really cool thing that kind of distracts me during my panic attacks 
I bought it from the Richmond Art Museum, um, but I'm pretty sure that you guys could find it anywhere. I'm not really for sure what it's called because I didn't say the box, but this is it. It's not a bubble. <laughs> it's um actually really different in my opinion. Um, and I really just was at the art museum. I was like, this would really help my anxiety. My best friend thought it would help too. And it cost me $4. I did waste $4 on this. <laughs> but, um, I'm not really sure what it's called. But it does all these cool things. You can make all these different shapes out of, like, a little flower almost. And it goes back into a ball. And it just does all these shapes. And when I get really bad anxiety, you kind of can just stare at it and do this. And it keeps your mind off of it. Because it's almost like a bubble. And it kind of, like, hypnotizes you in a way. And I just think this was the best product for my pain tax. And when I do have anxiety, I use this. I don't carry it in my purse because it will obviously rip. But when I'm at home and have anxiety or feel like a pain attack's coming on, this is what I use. Um, I will try to find the name of it and link it below. And sorry if I can't, but some of you might know what it is. Um, the next thing I got was from Target, and they were on sale for like six dollars. And it's my uh, weekly. Um, I call it my day planner, but they're called like a weekly planner. I love the color of it and how it's like in this beautiful textured cover. And then it keeps falling out. It has a pouch where you can like tuck it back in for like the months. And each month it has, let me see. Um, this kind of calendar. I mean not calendar, but a weekly planner. And then um, it has even the squares in it for each month. And then it has even like notebook space in it. So I really love it. All my planner, uh, all my plans are in this planner, and my whole schedule of every day and my videos are all going in this planner. I'm actually going to try to upload videos every day. Um, so let's see if that can happen, besides the weekend. So every weekday I'm going to try to do a video, and let's hope that can happen. The next thing is my favorite thing is my best friend, who I keep talking about in this video. She moved away <laughs> to Florida. So, um... She'll be flying back here in the summer, but she had to get rid of all the stuff that she couldn't pack and what else to give it to besides her best friend. So she gave it to me and she found me this purse that was in her closet that she never used and she thinks she got it as a gift or her parents bought it for her. She's not really even for sure, but she gave me this cute purse and it's like my monthly favorite. I'm not even using it right now because I just got it like a week ago because she just left last Wednesday. It's already my monthly favorite because it has like an outside pocket with a cute little charm and um, I love that for my phone. It stays on your shoulder really well. Um, and as, as you can see, the price tag is still on it. And there's all the, like, tissues in it and everything. And it has, like, a little zipper inside. I just think this is the cutest purse ever. And it is, uh, Kathy? The brand's Kathy Van something. Um, I'm not really good with, like, name brand stuff, but that's what it's called. Wow. This purse is $89. I would never pay $89 for this purse, but yeah, throw that over there. The next thing that I got was I talked to my weight loss vlog, and I wanted to show you, I mean not vlog, video. Um, I was going to vlog about this, um, but uh, I told you how I did the Dirty Girl Mud Run, and I did it within an hour, and I got my medal at the end. It's my favorite ever because it's the first medal I've ever done from getting a run because a lot of them don't have them so this is like my top monthly favorite as you can see dirty girl mud run so much fun I'm still wearing the bracelet from it that's why it doesn't match my outfit and this is what it looks like and I did and finish it within an hour and it was so much fun I love it and I'll always keep this as a memory and I suggest for you to do it this is the best uh, all women run for breast cancer and ovarian cancer and you donate your money shoes at the end it goes to third world countries to give your shoes to people who are very poor and in need and who don't have shoes so it's like a three-way charity and all your money goes to support breast cancer and ovarian cancer so sign up for the dirty girl mud run um 
also my last no not my last um my next two things my boyfriend got for me um he got me them when we went to the zoo because he knows I'm like obsessed with animals these are two little red pandas they came together a mama and a baby I think they're so cute I like collect stuffed animals so my boyfriend is like the best for getting me that um the next thing is stuff that I really talk about about my monthly favorites and not, um, I don't have anything in my hand for them, um, besides I'm reading for my phone from the list I wrote. But my favorite movie, and this is really sad, like I was trying to think of like my two favorite movies right now and I go to the theater like all the time because my boyfriend, um, career is in movies and, uh, filming and stuff so we go to the movies all the time and he does reviews on movies and stuff. Um, so, we, like, have to go see, like, every movie, and sometimes he goes see them without me, but I've been to the movie theater a lot. Anyways, um, I saw Age of Ultron. Yeah, that movie was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I like the first one better, <laughs> but, um, so my favorite movies are actually really old. Like, not old, old, but, like, they're not just, like, just came out in the month of May, but these movies are still my favorite. Um, right now, and no other movies can take their spots. And right now, it's still Despicable Me 2. Um, I'm obsessed with that movie because I'm obsessed with Minions. I can't wait for the Minion movie to come out in, uh, I think July. And I'm going to be, like, going to the premiere and everything. I'm so excited. And then my also, my other favorite movie, top favorite, favorite is Insurgent. I just, nothing can replace that movie. I love it. Shaylee Woodley. She's my favorite. She's so beautiful. And the month, um, this month of May, there's none of my favorite ones right now. I'm going to see Pitch Perfect 2 this Sunday, and maybe that will take my spot. I'm really hoping it will because I love the first one. Then my favorite songs, um, I really need to, um, tell you them. I'll link them below, like the music video below. But my favorite songs, I have two of them right now, is Foxes. Well, it's the person's called Foxes and it's called Beauty Queen. I love that song so much. And then Trisha Paytas, I'm trying to say it right. Um, she's a YouTuber, really famous one. Um, everyone loves her and I love her new music video called Fat Chicks. Um, I just really like the beat and the music video is funny and cute and I just thought it was great. Um, so that's my two favorite songs. Um, Let's see, uh, oh, my favorite video game this month, because I always play video games, I'm a nerd in that way, um, would be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, it's still been my favorite for, like, two months now. Me and my boyfriend play it all the time. I just love it. And I just love playing video games. So, yeah, that's pretty much my monthly favorites, and they kind of stay the same, and, well, not the same, but within the same categories and there's nothing like really new or expensive right now because I'm not splurging on my money because I'm off for three weeks right now so um I'm doing what I can with money wise um so I hope these favorites were okay if you have like really awesome top monthly favorite videos you can link them below in the comments I'll come watch them or um if you have any toner suggestions or any other monthly favorite products I should try, comment them below. I'd love to hear and learn about them, and I probably will try them out and buy them. Um, thanks for watching my video, and I love you all. Have a good weekend. Bye.